Man, it's about time we got some snow. I know it might be cold out there, but we got some heat in here. What's good, YouTube? Uh, Professor Snap here. I just wanted to make a video. Real, real sick. I'm gonna put on this and. What up, YouTube? You guys ready for another pickups? Alright, I gotta go quick because there's a lot of stuff. So, first things first, I gotta get into some shout outs. Um, shout out to Uncut K1113RS. Critzy Fool, um, shout out to him, he's been one of my uh, very first uh, viewers, so shout out to him. Uh, Devin Parker's Vlogs, Griffs SG10, and um, the last one didn't ask for a shout out, but this guy deserves a shout out hardcore. Um, Soul Food SF, I'm going to put all their links down, down here, but Soul Food SF, everyone go check him out, go sub to him. This guy has the best pickups out of anyone I've seen on YouTube, better than me, like, this guy is just stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> um, you know, his pickups, his regular pickups look like the pickups I'm about to get today, but like better. Yeah, so let's get into it. Alright, before I get through, I want to show you guys the pile. Look how huge this pile is. This is just a diversity of pickups. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to split it up. Alright, first section up is T's. I'm going to go real quick. Um, first up is this Oakland Raiders, silver and black. Nothing on the back. Um, Utah Jazz, you know, not too much, just all gray. It's got the um, Utah Jazz symbol right there, nothing on the back. Um, next is this dope dead stock uh, Florida Marlins tee. The date on it is 1992. Um, Justin's MLB 1992. Real sick. Um, yeah, again, let me say this um, nothing is for sale um, right now. Um, if you're watching this vid, I'm going to put the link to the website that everything will be on. Um, the website, you know, I try to make it a little official so you can laugh at some of the stuff that I write on there and, you know, I try and make it sound a little official. But yeah, if you're watching this, check down below for the link. If it's not there, then it's not for sale. But when it's for sale, it will be in the link. So yes, um, Champions, National League Champions, Colorado Rockies 2007, um, dead stock. It's got, you know, not really vintage, pretty recent, but I mean, it was brand new with tags, still had the sticker, so I copped it. Nothing on the back. Um, um, this was dead stock. This had tags with it, but um, I wore it. These Raglan like baseball tees are just so sick. Um, so yeah. And then I got a, a Raptors one dead stock. Um, the Raptors is a, a local um, uh, minor league team. So yeah, pretty dope. Pretty happy about this. I like these tees. All right, next section is the jerseys. Um, just sports tees and stuff like that. First up is. Um, number three, Sixers, um, Allen Iverson jersey. Um, looks like nobody's really ever worn this. Um, Iverson on the back, number three, XL um, in youth, but um, that means it fits me. Uh, Penny Hardaway USA um, basketball freaking um, jersey, champion jersey. This is so sick. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's actually too small for me. I thought it was going to fit me, but it doesn't. So um, this will be for sale. Don't PM me. Don't email me. Just wait till the link is up. So yeah, just check back every day. It should be this stuff should be up pretty soon. So yeah, um, the next two I was just so ecstatic about. Um, dope, dope, dope. If you guys know anything about jazz basketball, if you guys remember um, back in the 90s, um, 98 when the Jazz went to the finals against the Bulls. John Stockton, Carl Malone, they were they're the epitome of jazz basketball. I've been looking for a John Stockton jersey forever. Um, but these things go for um, like vintage ones go for hundreds and then even like newer ones go for like um, 120 for authentic ones. So I was super happy to find these. Like I was jumping for joy when I found these in in the thrift. Like these are not for sale. Look at this. Malone in the back. Um, Malone and Stockton I got both of them and they fit me so I was beyond the stack because I found this Stockton jersey quite a few times but always never in my size so yeah next is this um, this uh, twins oh shoot I don't know yeah yeah twins I don't know what I'm thinking I'm um, like you know just kind of baseball like pull up or button up it was dead stock so I copped it yep um, yeah not really vintage but um yeah um, Cubs baseball jersey pretty sick I like the the blue and the red sleeves um, it just says 14 on the back 
Next is the Athletics. Pretty sick, nothing on the back. Um, the next one is real dope. So, let me show you. It's number one. Uh, it's a Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Gear uh, baseball jersey. Um, if you guys have been watching me, I've been really loving these baseball jerseys lately. And um, I found a Tommy Gear one. Pretty much dead stock. Like, I feel like there should be tags here. Size medium. Um, absolutely nothing wrong. The, the white is pristine. Um, there's absolutely no stains, nothing. It doesn't look like it's ever been washed. Still fresh, nothing on the back. All right, now into the crew necks. First crew neck is this. Um, just like, I don't know, I just thought this crew neck was, you know, different from anything um, that you see most people wear. It's got like the red stripe right here. And then it has a button right here, which is pretty sick. And then it's red. I can just kind of rock it with, you know, just any red hat I got. Um, the next one is like, this just screams vintage. Um, and it's like pretty much dead stock. Like there's nothing wrong with it. No cracking, no yellowing. The the white is real nice. It's got like the cuffs on the sleeve. Um, buttons right here, UNLV Rebels. So sick. Um, I think this is really dope. These like true vintage, like, um, I don't know. I think it looks sick though when I put it on. So yeah, I was happy to find that. Um, yeah, nothing on the back. Next is a NBA Sonics um, size XL. But I think it fits probably about a medium. Um, you know, Sonic stuff is pretty rare now, so just trying to cop it. Nothing really too special, but still, it's no longer a team, so it's collectible. Um, next is the University of Hawaii. Um, I'm part Hawaiian, so figured I'd cop that. Shout out to my collection 7000, you know, he's from Hawaii, so shout out to him. Um, nothing on the back. This next one, look at this. Woo! Heat. San Francisco 49ers. Um, if you're a Niners fan, stay tuned to my last hat. The last hat is bonkers. Um, but yes, this dope San Francisco 49ers, size large. Um, kind of fits medium, smallish, but it's dope. Um, I wear it, and it just looks so sick. Nothing wrong with it. I was happy to find this one. Um, next is this Utah Freedom Bowl, 1994 Utah Utes. Um, just all red. Pretty sweet. Um, NFC champions, Green Bay Packers. Uh, return to glory um, I'm not a Packers fan so this will be for sale check the site down below it's a size large if you're wondering look at this Super Bowl 31 it's got like signatures right here you can see Brett Favre's signature right here Brett Favre yeah um, 92 on there uh, next is a sick Dolphins um, crew neck by Nutmeg size, size large Dolphins right there no cracking pristine condition um, dolphins and then it's got the ref saying it's good cool. all right all right next section is um, windbreakers and pullovers uh, first up is this Tommy Hilfiger windbreaker um, I got it for a dollar it was only a dollar so um you know I really like windbreakers um, Hilfiger's you know pretty vintage and he'll um, Tommy Hilfiger stuff's you know getting kind of there to where people are starting to wear it a lot more and um, I know System Psycho and um, Frank the Rose really like Hill Figure, and um, you know it's still pretty cool. Just Hill Figure in the back with the H, um, like red fleece in, in Tommy Hill Figure, pretty sweet. Um, next is this Cincinnati Bengals windbreaker, um, size small, like tiny, small, small. But um, I actually think I'm gonna take the patches off this one because um, it, it's kind of wrinkly, it's kind of used. So, um, if I don't sell it, like, in a little bit, it says medium, but it's probably more like medium kids or maybe small, um, adult or something. But, yeah, in the back will look sick. It'll be a dope patch, pro line. Yeah, these windbreakers are dope. I wish I could find more of my size. Um, this last one is a Jazz pullover. Um, Utah Jazz. Pretty sick. Nothing, um, wrong with it. Um, the black is like really black. It looks like it should be dead stock. It looks like it should have came with tags, but um, yeah, gray in inside and pretty dope. This will be for sale, so check to see if the link's down below. All right, now into the jackets. Um, all the jackets are for sale except for the Utah Jazz one and um, the satin jacket um, that you're going to see. But everything else will be for sale, so keep checking this vid and seeing if the link's down below. Uh, first up is this Los Angeles Lakers starter jacket. 
real nice, real pristine, size large. Um, really nothing wrong with it. It is kind of wrinkly, but um, no stains. The buttons, look at the buttons. No chipping on the buttons. Um, there is like the zippers thing is kind of missing. But um, yo, this is dope. Um, I'm not a Lakers fan at all, but I I still know this is dope. Um, this is still a sick sweater. So yeah, or jacket. Um, next is this 49er size small um, for you small ones. Uh, 49er starter jacket, uh, pristine condition, real dope. Um, NFL on the side, Niners on the back. Wish this fit, but it doesn't. So I'm, you know, um, size XL pro player Bears jacket. Pro player on the sleeve, NFL experience, bears out here, like orange pockets, look at that, it comes with the hood, orange inside hood with the pro player, um, you know, zip up with the bear in the back, so yeah, shout out to Snapback Streets, this is his team, uh, so yeah, um, this is the one that's not for sale, super happy about this one, my size, size medium, um, logo 7, um, logo 7 right there, um, really pristine, like, um, I, it's hard to find starter jackets in this good of condition. Um, it really looks like it was just bought the other day. Um, just dead stock. The back's the sickest part. Look at this like cursive jazz stuff. So I'm super happy about this. I'm gonna be rocking this for um, you know vintage swag. Um, next is here's the satin jacket I was telling you guys about. Um, not for sale really, unless you see it on the site. Uh, it's like Raiders color, so I'm thinking about putting Raiders patch on here. But then I, then again, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to just leave it plain so I can rock it with anything. Yeah, plain on the back. Um, next is this uh, New England Patriots Letterman jacket by Reebok. Um, people always hit me up wanting Letterman jackets. So um, this one will be for sale. Not for too cheap like I usually do because I had to spend a pretty penny on this one more than um, I usually do. So yeah. Um, NFL on the sleeve, nothing wrong with it. Real clean, like the leather right here is is not like worn like you see on some um, jackets. And then the back is the Patriots on the back. So yeah, for you Patriots fans, too bad you guys didn't just win the Super Bowl because um, probably would have made more money. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Well, I'm not because that's how business goes, but you know what I mean. Um, sick Angel satin jacket, dead stock. Look at that, dead stock. Um, Angel satin jacket XL for you guys that want to know. Oh, the um, the Patriots Letterman was large. Just so you know, this is an XL authentic collection, majestic, uh, made by Majestic Dead Stock. Real nice, real sick. Um, I paid you know pretty good amount for this one too. So this one will be a little bit more than what I usually um, sell them for, but not too much. Um, so yeah, definitely. A good price so yep here we go all right last up is the headwear I'm gonna try and go quick so that I don't this doesn't make the video too long um, first up is this st. Louis Rams beanie all black um, this Decepticons Transformers hat my dad got me I think I'm gonna customize it maybe make it a snap pack or something um, alien workshop camo and black looks real sick I like it a lot um, gonna wear that um, I don't have a snapback or a hat in this color, so, you know, I cop stuff that I don't have colors of. Um, dope SeaWorld hat. I really like this one. It says SeaWorld on the back. You guys remember Shamu? Um, yeah, blue and black. Dope colorway. Um, all black Jaguars hat that I copped at the thrift. Actually passed it up and then decided to do this to it, customize it, and put a sick Jaguar print on it. and. You know, just kind of makes it that much better, even though it was a plain hat that I passed up before. Um, LA Kings, I think I'm going to customize this one because the brim on this is kind of funky. Makes it fit weird. Um, yeah, LA Kings, pretty sweet, all black. Uh, Broncos, just all navy, Denver in the back. Um, Fresh Prince hat. Cop this for the brim. I think I'm going to leave it like this, though. I um, really like the print on this, so... Um, got these two in a trade from two different people. This one's from Mojito Alex. I got your stuff. I'm um, shipping out tomorrow. So yeah, big shout out to you. Um, really love this hat. This hat is so dope. Um, one of my favorite hats right now. Um, this Bucks one. Really happy about this one. I have a windbreaker that um, I need this to match. So yeah, I don't know your YouTube name, but um, yeah, you've been emailing me and um, I'm shipping out tomorrow. Just so you know. Sorry, I've been real busy, but yeah, shout out to you guys. Um, USA basketball, green underbrim. 
Um, Dream Team 1992 love stuff with the year 92 on it because that was the year I was born. Um, yes, there's the McDonald's in the back. Pretty sick. Um, Toronto Blue Jays, all blue with the Blue Jays logo. Um, it's a logo 7. Uh, Tigger Snap. Um, really like cartoon stuff. Kind of cool. I think I'm going to put a tiger print brim on this, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, here's two Olympic snaps, Atlanta 96. Um, pretty sweet, you know, 100 centennial games, um, gray under brim, logo 7 on both of them. Um, these two are actually remakes I found at the thrift. Um, this one's a one of those camp hats, it's a Nike SB. This one's actually kind of cool, I kind of like the, the plaid print, it's got a black under brim. Um, the cool thing about these hats um, is that both of these are like prototype sample hats that were not part of a general release. Um, in the thing it says, this is a sample, Nike cannot warrant that this product is fit for purpose or without flaws in design and manufacturing and materials. So this isn't one that you would buy at like Zoomies or whatever. Um, so yeah, pretty sweet. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these two. So I'm not a big fan of like um, this one at least. I'm not really digging the color on this one. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's a sample hat too. This one says right here, it's got the sample tag on it. Sample right there logo wrong color I guess so yeah pretty dope to find those um, here's my first Mitchell and Ness um, cop that I just copped the other day um, paid retail for this but um, I really love this I was a huge Rockets fan growing up um, huge McGrady fan so um and I love red and yellow it's a dope colorway I love the way um, Mitchell and Ness does these shark tooths I hate the way they do the um, splashes and scripts but um, I give them props on the shark tooth so yeah shout out to Mitchell and Ness on those I'm trying to get a few more Mitchell and Nesses to have a a retro game because I have a huge vintage game so um, here's a Arizona sports specialty script real dope um, yeah just all it has like a denim kind of coloring Arizona Wildcats real nice red button red brim green under brim and the last one if you're a Niners fan um, I'm a Niners fan so I was so happy to find this one this one is super clean it's so hard to find white snapbacks like this that are just super clean um, but yeah, look at that green underbrim, real nice red, real rich 49ers right there. It's got all five um, championships on it. So I was super happy to find this one. Um, yeah, definitely my favorite find out of all the hats I got this week. So yeah. YouTube, so there's my pickups. Real big, real heat, uh, vintage swag, some remake swag. Um, yeah, so shout out to TBS. Follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page if you want to vote on what videos get uploaded each day. If you want to talk, you know, whatever. Just like it. And um, yeah, shout out to everyone that's supporting me. Um, I appreciate all my fans, all my supporters. Uh, more vids come, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.